Hey. Uh, Alexis Davis was looking for you. She's representing Maxie in a murder case. Yeah. Have you been to visit her in jail? No, she wouldn't want to see me. You know we're not friends. But you seem to worry. Worried about it, right? Well, I don't want to believe she's a murderer. And that's so far outside what I think she's capable of. It's impossible to fully know people. Isn't that your job? My job is to help people know themselves. But first, they need to accept truths they may not want to face. How did this happen? When? Yes, I understand. Thank you for calling. What happened? Who was that? That was... That was Alexis. Cassandra's dead. Your patient would never... Alexis, she doesn't have the details. I just... I just wish... I shouldn't have left her there, you know? You, you didn't leave her. You told me she dismissed you, right? I should have... I should have confronted her. I mean, I should have... But you, you just got through saying that people need to accept truths about themselves. I'm a doctor. I, I should have been able to help her. You've been there. You've been there for everyone, including me. And I'm, I'm going to be here for you if, if you need someone. Oh, Elizabeth, you don't have Stop to do that. It. I'm not going anywhere. All my life, I wanted to help people explore what's inside them. Should have been able to guide Cassandra through her problems. What does that say about me as a psychiatrist that I couldn't? I know what it says about you as a man, that you care so much. Should have been able to help her. Sometimes we lose our patience, and that's never easy. But it's important that we remember how many people we do help. Just like you helped me. You and Keenan. Do you think Connie could have left the gun in my office? Take a deep breath and tell me what's going on. I cannot live with this, okay? I can't live with not knowing. Do you think that... Do you think that Connie would use a gun? When I asked her about the gun, Connie was deliberately evasive. So the gun could have been mine? Con Connie's? It's possible. Uh, no. Look, I need to know everything that Connie knows. We need to schedule another appointment. Now, if Connie had a gun, that means... Kate, you still there? Yes. All right. We will... We'll just reschedule the meeting then. Okay. You're then okay? I didn't mean to be rude, no. That was a patient. Oh, I know. Of course, I figured. Sorry to burden you with my problems. It's not a burden. You really shouldn't be so hard on yourself. You're a good doctor. And a good person. Even after I stood you up on our date? <sighs> I'm over it. Almost. Would it, uh, would it help you fully get over it if we tried again? Just so I'm not misunderstanding. Are you asking me out? I'd be honored if you'd join me for dinner. I could use the company. I'd love to.